What's up my beautiful pet finders? This is Dramal here again, another Mass Effect Andromeda video. In this video, we are doing right by the Solarians. We will see all the Kalo scenes. This will include also the Solarian arc walkthrough. The task Truth and Trespass after the Solarian arc. We will find out who sold out the Solarians to the Keth. We are choosing Pathfinder Reika, and we also are seeing the outcome with the Gil fight. If you like my videos, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized. For a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half-finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right, after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory, it was quite the effort to get her working. The Initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? Buy. Legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. 
depending who you ask. We're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into forty-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well... I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no. I'm not falling for that again. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. Hmm, that doesn't make it the right way. Just like Sir Kesh. Hmm. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Everyone's really working to get the Nexus on its feet. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. What can I do for you? You and Gil still aren't getting along? He's being stubborn. All I want is for him to respect the ship. Apparently, that's too much to ask. I'll let you... Gil? O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil? I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. This isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Aw, oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slide. Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? Y yes but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well you're the boss. Just say the word. The hell you did? You can't just undo ten hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient, just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Kalo. I know, just please don't let this distract you. I don't believe it. Gills reconfigured our entire nav array. O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place. Damn it. Callow, don't. Take the helm. I've had enough of this. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning... You don't have the right!
Knock it off, both of you. Sure. Once he gets off my back about how I work on the Tempest. You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. Fifty-hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents. Humans can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. If he had the Tempest up on blocks, I might see it. Look, Kahlo, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space isn't adapting. It's irresponsible and disrespectful. The Tempest has too many new systems doing new things to just adapt on the fly. If we make changes, let's make them carefully and with respect. She's your ship. I just hope you know what you're doing. Ryder, I... I know it's not... Thank you. Okay, it's over. Let's get back to work. A foolish thing to get angry over, isn't it? Perhaps you had to be there when the Tempest was made. In a way, I'm always there. I see my team's faces as clearly as yours. What's the saying? People aren't dead while someone still remembers them? Remember them for me. Tell me who they were. Serena still wore her bondmate's perfume years after they separated. I can see the patterns Tion embroidered in his Enviro suit. I see Lucille, O'Connell, too. Maybe they're not completely gone. If they still comfort and inspire you, are the people you love really dead? It would be very hard to be the last. Though the Tempest will outlast us all. Just hoping to research something in my spare time. Oh, would you care to help? I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? It's preliminary, but all that data we've gathered on the skirt should be good for something. Is that our drive core? I want to research new systems, sensors, shields, EMP defenses, to help any ship tackle the Scourge. I'm using Lucille's old blueprints as a baseline. I can read them from memory, but if you and Sam can help, I'd really appreciate it. I'm no starship expert, but Sam and I can pitch in, sure. Though if you want someone who really knows ships, there's always... Gil. I know. We barely speak these days. I thought it was best. And yet... Gil's redesigns are what got me thinking. Funny, most Salarians leap at innovation. Who knows? A pushy mammal who forgets stuff might be the perspective you need. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. That matters. But so does inventing new things to care about. New memories. Gil, then. <laughs> Any advice on how to ask him? Gil, got a minute? I need you in the research room. Be right there. Well, now, your precious ship is running just like you want it. I'm researching new systems. To handle the Scourge, I could use your expert opinion, please. Sticking to the old school? I don't have to. No sense reinventing the wheel, though you'd need better secondaries in place. Here. A feasible approach. Currently, Arc Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about the Salarians? Unknown. You heard them, Oshai. Who knows what the Archon's capable of? Then we keep our eyes open. We underestimate the Archon, we're dead. Ryder? Whatever you need, those are my people. We'll get them back. 
Now let's make this one count. Pathfinder, a moment. I'm picking up Krogan life signs on board the ship. Several captives are being held not far from your location. They are scheduled for exaltation. Could be the rest of Drax's missing scouts. Sam, do we have time to get there before the Kev restore power? If you act quickly. Ryder, it's Reka. I'm pinned down. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Where are you? Near holding cells where they're keeping several of my people. They're still alive. I ordered Captain Hager back to the Ark. You should be with him. I couldn't leave my people. I had to try. And now, I think it's over. From one Pathfinder to another, farewell. Reka out. Damn it! There isn't time to save both. Once the cat restore power, you'll be trapped. <sighs> but track scouts! We just saw what the Archon will do to them. They'll be turned into monsters. Reload. We're going after Reka. Pathfinder, you came. Reka, we couldn't just leave you here. Thank you. My people are at the end of the tunnel. It's kept the whole way. Then we push ahead and don't stop for anything. Let's go. Can you run? Pathfinder, the cats are close to restoring the ship's power. Tempest, we're going topside. Track for extraction. Understood. Ryder, thank you. Save it for when we're safe. The team will escort the Ark back to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Thank you again, Ryder. But I owe you an apology. I made a mistake. Oh? I shouldn't have called you to say goodbye. The choice you had to make... I put too much on your shoulders. You did what you had to. If that had been the Hyperion and I was looking for my people, I would have been the one calling you. I appreciate that. As Pathfinders, the line between serving our own people and the greater good is blurry. I prefer a sharper focus. I don't think there's going to be much of that in this line of work. I suppose not. Whatever the case, the Solarian people are forever in your debt. Earn this. We will. Drac. I heard what happened. Wasn't enough to save the whole Ark, huh? Had to grab a few more Solarians on the way out. Drac, it's... Complicated, except it's not. Leaving my scouts behind was worse than killing them outright. And you're not the one who has to explain it to the rest of the clan. A real victory. Our Ark back at the Nexus. I'd almost given up hope. I find things, Kalo. My job description's only one word. It's horrible to think of Salarians in Ket hands. But at least our Pathfinder made it. Thank you, Ryder. I mean it truly. If you ever need a favor, just ask. There you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. 
If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Now that I think about it, a Ket Armada just stumbling across the Solarian Arc seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that... I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Long way to fall. that tip-off about the Solarian Arc? Let's stay sharp! Hostiles! Anonymous tip-offs? Let's look around. They might have left something. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughn, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled... inconveniences. The Solarian Union's fixers. If you prefer. As I said, these days I stick with retiree. Espionage is a job that follows you home. Or across galaxies. Until there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden. But the evidence is thin. I need a Pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adam? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the Ket. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Reka help you solve this? I trust Reka implicitly, but I can't say the same for her team. You're obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adam's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adam's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adam? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. Uh, remember, Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. That's Techix, according to my map. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support restored.
This must be Dr. Adden's workspace. The one the STG agent is investigating. This equipment has been sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Or they could be leftovers from Adam's experiments. So let's check out the other lead, the cat handler. Ryder, always a pleasure. I hear you're assisting Major Salem Varn's investigation into Dr. Adden. You know Salem? I met him once or twice. A remarkable agent, despite his age. Unfortunately, my attempts to aid him have stalled. What do you make of Salem's theory that someone betrayed your people? It seems monstrous, but the more I consider it, the more the facts seem to fit. I've tried enlisting ARC leadership, those who woke first, but they've been busy, unhelpful, or both. Perhaps we should get... creative. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of the ARC officers who woke early, Rand Lawn, has an apartment here. If he's too busy to help, you could scan around, carefully, see what you can find. Locked. I may be able to hack this, Pathfinder. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Reka mentioned. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the Scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lon, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. Password protected. 
Little help, Sam? Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the EM signature suggests data was recently cleaned. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? I'm conducting an investigation about the Solarian Ark. I wanted to check a few things. Ah, I did hear about this. I was too busy to assist. I suppose I'll have to make the time. What do you need? I'd like to ask Dr. Aiden a few questions. Do you know him? Or where he is? Oh yes. Aiden's some sort of biologist. We were among the first to wake up. Difficult times. I haven't seen him since the Ark was rescued. Why Aiden? Salen Varn mentioned... Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look. Let's forget this happened, for the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. I'm driving. These are the approximate coordinates extrapolated from the Solarian apartment. No sign anyone was here. There's sand traps all over. Let's look under the surface. Something was here, then dragged that way. Scavengers. Might be trouble. The trail leads right to them.
Salen, what happened to you? Salen? <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. You're sure he's okay? I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salen you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait, you... He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adden asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. Adden used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks. Canny bastard. I examined the department belonging to a Salarian officer, Rand Lon. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. Right. Except Adam got rid of anything we had on him. And I'll bet Rand Lon has disappeared. Adam. Ah! He forgot the dart he poisoned me with. Still in there, with the ballistics intact. Contact Eden, feign ignorance, and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. We'd need somewhere to meet Eden. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. Sakura, shoot straight with me, will you? I'll try. You don't like me. I don't like your methodology. Oh, don't hide behind vocabulary. This place is massive. Detecting high levels of toxic gas. Proceed with caution, Pathfinder. Hey, I'm always cautious. Look. There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a Ket collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? So it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't <clears throat> carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Selling your Ark to the Ket makes no logical or tactical sense. To you, because you lack data. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets, so one day we could destroy them along with their exaltation. Hey, I know how not to get exalted. Get ourselves exalted, you idiot. Listen, there is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All-powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? You're despicable. But if your secrets could save us, teach us to fight exaltation? Deal. Might work out long term, but that's a big might. The hell with that! He, uh, he gave them our arc! 
And we saved it. We're vulnerable. We can't afford to lose any advantage. If you trust Adam, you deserve everything you get. If I see him again, you have to ID him by his teeth. I'll transfer my intel to you immediately. My life is entirely in your hands. Thank you for your foresight. You don't know how many lives you'll save. Pathfinder, got a minute? That's what the Salarian Ark was worth to our officers? Thousands of lives for maybe a future advantage against the Kit? I suppose you agreed, since you let those traitors walk free. Nothing would help those people who died or got exalted. But this way, it wasn't for nothing. Certainly not. You got a vague promise from a known liar in return. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be.